Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Samantha Smith. I am a physical therapist that specializes in knee replacements. Today in this video, I wanted to cover a really, really common question that's popping up in the Facebook group. By the way, if you are not in the Facebook su support group, please join, it is super helpful. There are thousands of members in the group that have gone through a knee replacement and it's really great to connect with these people and realize that you are not alone and you probably have symptoms that hundreds of other people have so it's really great to connect so please join um, you can go on Facebook and search succeed with your new knee or um, you can click the link below this video um, I'll post a link to this to the Facebook group below this video and you can just click it but let's get into the topic of um, this video how do you avoid an MUA uh, which is a manipulation under anesthesia or how how do you get your knee to bend right away? What can we do to help that progress, you know, keep progressing? We don't want to get stiff is the biggest thing after a knee replacement. You know, if you've done your research or you're currently going through physical therapy and you're rehabilitating your uh, knee at the moment, you know that you're gonna have to bend and straighten your knee. A lot of people will get really concerned if they're not, you know, their knee isn't bending well for the first, you know, couple weeks, it makes people really concerned. And they're like, what the heck am I doing wrong? I'm doing all the exercises. I'm doing all the stretches. I'm going to PT two to three times a week. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. What is going on? So what I have found from, you know, reading through the Facebook group and also as a you know, physical therapist, you know, I see hundreds of, um, you know, knee replacement patients throughout the year. I've treated thousands of knee replacement patients at this point in my career the biggest thing you have to focus on is making sure you're managing your swelling so that is key to getting the knee to bend obviously if you are really swollen you're not going to be able to bend the knee that makes a lot of sense right so how do you manage your swelling well you ice and you elevate all the time you are going to need to elevate properly so if you are just laying down on the bed and you have your leg out in front of you that is not considered elevating and a lot of people get confused with this you have to have your leg up it has to be over your heart level I even like to bring it up a little bit higher with my patients I tell them to bring the toes over your nose level so that leg is up pretty high I usually use three pillows so I'm gonna do two pillows long ways in one pillow horizontally it's going to make like a t formation i'll post a picture right here of kind of what it looks like when i um, use the pillows and help my patients elevate their leg you want to stay in this position for 20 minutes and you want to put ice on your knee as well an ice machine is going to be very helpful it's going to stay really cold the coldness is going to constrict the blood vessels and decrease that swelling that you have in your knee so it's really helpful to use a really really cold ice machine or ice pack if you don't have an ice pack i would recommend um an ice pack called active wrap um, i'll put a link below this video you can go and purchase that i have a coupon code that you can use too for the active wrap you have to order from their website but it's a really great ice pack that stays cold for a very long time and that's what you're going to need same with the ice machine um, my favorite brand is polar active ice i've done a review video on that if you want to go check it out again i have another coupon code for that 10% off you have to order from their website again um, but ordering from the website for both of these products is going to be really really beneficial because if anything goes wrong with the product you can contact their customer service if you go through Amazon you know you, you don't have that customer service available um, to replace parts or you know whatever you need so anyways back to our topic of managing your swelling another part of managing your swelling is not doing too much activity too soon so another mistake people make which is totally fine you are going to make these mistakes because you don't you don't know how to manage a knee replacement you've never done this before possibly if you this is your first knee that you've had replaced we as physical therapists are the ones that need to teach you this so if you don't have a physical therapist that is teaching you these things you know you're gonna you're gonna be a little bit behind with your knee bending so managing your activity level is going to be key 
to managing your swelling. You don't want to be doing too much activity. And I say this in a lot of my videos, for instance, if you've been at home for the past couple weeks, you know, you're doing a couple chores around the house and then all of a sudden you kind of muster up the strength to go to the grocery store and you walk around the grocery store for an hour, that is considered doing too much too soon. So just imagine you're, you know, you're in the house probably doing chores for five to 10 minutes and then you can go sit down and rest on the couch. And then you go to the grocery store and you're up on your leg for an hour, maybe more. You're driving, you're putting groceries in the car, you're doing a lot of stuff for about an hour. That's too much too soon. So you need to slowly add on activities and you need to train your knee how to accept increased activity. And you can do that by doing a walking program or you can do it just by increasing your overall activity. So for instance, let's say today you vacuumed and cleaned the kitchen. So maybe the next day you're going to vacuum, clean the kitchen and clean the bathroom, you know, something like that. Just do a little bit more each day, but don't go from five minutes to a whole hour of activity. That's too much. Your knee is not going to like it. You're going to get sore. You're going to get stiff and it's going to get swollen. That's going to hinder your uh, knee bending process and knee straightening you know, process as well. Um, those are the two biggest mistakes that I see with you know, people that I talk to in the Facebook group, all the phone consultations that I've done um, and with my patients as well. My patients, because I educate them from the get-go on how to do this, we don't have problems with bending the knee. I have, I've only had one patient that I know of in my whole career that he had scar tissue that was forming right away and it was really tough. I had to send him back to the surgeon and we had to, you know, go from there. But all of my patients do extremely well with their range of motion because I tell them how to elevate. I tell them when to ice. I tell them how to manage their activity level. I don't overdo their exercises. That's another thing. You don't need to be do doing crazy strengthening exercises right after surgery, the strength is going to come with time. A lot of physical therapists, they like to strengthen you like Arnold Schwarzenegger right away. And that's just, that's not appropriate right after a knee replacement. Even at four to six weeks, you shouldn't be doing anything crazy unless you can tolerate it. If you can do the exercises, great, go for it. But a lot of people, the more exercises they do, the more stress that they put on their knee, the more swollen they get. And if you are, you know, struggling with your range of motion, you don't need to be doing crazy exercises quite yet. So just some couple tips to think about, you know, mention these tips to your physical therapist and kind of see what they think about it. Of course, everyone's journey is going to be a lot different. Um, you know, maybe this doesn't apply to every single person, but you know, generally you, you, people, this does apply to most people going through a knee replacement recovery. If you need more structured help with your uh, knee replacement recovery, I do have courses on my website. So my website is called succeedcourses.com. I have four uh, knee replacement courses at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm developing a couple more, but th that, that will get you through your knee replacement recovery successfully. I teach you exactly how to elevate and ice, um, what exercises you need to be doing. We do a slow progression of the exercises and the stretches. So if you need something more structured, please, please check out my website. See if there's a course that you can sign up for. I also do phone consultations if you need more you know, guidance with your knee replacement. So again, that's on my website as well. Um, yeah, I hope that helped. Um, it's a really common question again. So ask me any comments or any questions you have below this video in the comments. I'll try to get to as many as I can. Please join the Facebook group and I'll see you guys again next time in our next video. Thank you.